Of all the political and philosophical artists, there has been none more misinterpreted than George Orwell. Orwell. The term Orwellian, Orwellian meaning a situation or idea of dystopian reality akin to that of 1984, sounds like life on Twitter, is regularly thrown around by conservatives warning of the overreach and bureaucracy of big government. What an Orwellian speech! You keep using the word. I don't know think it means what you think it means. And although Orwell was deeply critical of Soviet politics, that is not <laughs> the final meaning of his most famous novel, 1984. The consistent messaging behind his library of works is a critique of the assumption that democratic and free societies, like in his native England, are in diametric opposition to authoritarian societies like that of the USSR. This book is a satire on the totalitarian enemy, but uh, we people in England shouldn't feel too self-righteous about it, because in free England, unpopular ideas can be suppressed without the use of force. Simply put, Orwell's works explore the question, how does power work in a democratic society? And in 1984, this is ironically portrayed through the symbolism of Big Brother. Big Brother is watching you. Big Brother in the novel is portrayed as the all-seeing eye, the omnipresent surveillance camera, perpetually watching its subjects at their every waking moment. And I find this depiction very interesting. Interesting. As we can see the super state of Oceania regularly utilizing its military power to exact its totalitarian regime, but the true face of power is represented not as violence, but surveillance. And this reminds me of a theory by the French postmodern philosopher Michel Foucault. Bonsoir. Similar to Orwell, Foucault is interested in how power is exercised in modern liberal societies. And one of the answers he provided for this was the Panopticon. The Panopticon is a model of a prison designed by Jeremy Bentham consisting of a watchtower I have no idea. in the center of a circular courtyard, with the cells being inside the surrounding wall. What is unique about the Panopticon is that the warden in the center is able to see every prisoner at once, while the prisoner is never aware whether they are or are not being watched. As Foucault himself says, if the prisoner is never sure when he is being observed, he will become his own guardian. Both the Panopticon and Big Brother are examples of unlimited power, all the while never using force as a method of oppression. Instead, they weaponize their nature as an omnipresent watcher to transcend their physical location and exist inside the minds of their subjects. And from this position, they condition those subjects from prisoners to wardens of themselves. A framework of obedience is instilled into you. The term Orwellian, implies that political power is exercised primarily through physical forces. But for both Orwell and Foucault, true power is not exercised externally, but internally, in the minds of the subjects. Because what's more powerful? Making mandatory a set of political or economic laws by the threat of violence, or having obedience be so dominant in the subject's mind that they become the police of themselves. 